Hi everyone, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for VBB, 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 VBT10 or 12. I'm getting this whole thing wrong. Uh, Divine Lightning Radiance. So, cover art, we got Gavriel. Gavriel's coming back, but obviously that's not what's important. This is what's important right here. All that matters. So we're going to open this thing. And uh, before I do though, I wanna give a very, very, very quick thank you to Triple Sleeve TCG for providing the box today. If you guys don't know who or what Triple Sleeve TCG is, it is an online website where you can purchase case splits per clan based on a set that you want. What that means is, let's say you want to get Angel Feather, I believe it's sold out, but let's say you wanted to get Angel Feather for this set, but you just wanted play sets of every card, so including four Gov Rails, four of all the Triple R's, four of all the Double R commons, everything you needed just to have play sets to upgrade your deck. You can have it delivered to you in the mail instead of having to open boxes and boost the sets, buying singles online. It makes it a lot easier to finish those decks, especially during these crazy times. So go ahead and check out Triple Sleeve TCG, get those decks finished up. So thanks again for the box, and let's, let's get this cracked open. Fire pens back at it again. So, a little slide, or a little sliver right there. Crank it open. There you go. Pull a little flap up. Let's see what we got. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me. Yes! I got the gold paladin die. Yes! <laughs> Yes. Oh, this is off to a great start. All right, cool. Uh, advertisements for stuff, as per usual. All right, so, let's see. Flip this over a little bit. So we got gift markers. These are the, uh, the double flippy ones, so you can get the ones on the front and the back, so those can be convenient. So right now I'm just gonna pull uh, these out. It should be 10 per side, or I'm sorry, uh, eight per side. Always get these going. So it's eight per side, so 16 packs in a box. Uh, 16 packs times seven. I don't want to do the math, but yeah, you get it. There's a lot of cards. Cool. So, let's start off with this one. Let's see what we get. So common. Common. Oh, cool. Coel. Great. Saving that. Heal trigger. Uh, reprint crit, a rare. Oh, cool. That is a triple R. What do you do? Uh, Eradicator, Plasma Catapult. Uh, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards, bind it. Your opponent chooses one of his or her back row, moves it to an open, and if this is on van, you draw. Okay, so cool. It's basically like a kind of like a berserk dragon thing going on with this, so it's pretty cool. So, already first pack. We already opened up a triple R. On to the next one. Whoop. So we got common, 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 heal trigger, crit, uh, rare. Oh, pff, VR. Wow. Right off the bat. So we got uh, Vanquisher. Boom. What's the new one called again? Full Bronto. Now, can't read upside down, so I'm going to have to read this card real quick. So. This is regarded as this also is regarded as Dragonic Vanquisher by itself. When placed, all of your front row get 10k. So that's also pretty nice for premium. Uh, when moved, uh, when bound from hand during your turn, if your vanguard is Dragonish Vanquisher, Dragonish Vanquisher, discard a card from your hand, write this card as stand, and this gets drive minus one, and until Oh, and during that turn's end phase, you cannot you cannot get imaginary gift excel, and at the end of the turn, write a grade three from your soul as rest. Oh, so they're not preventing you from getting excel unit. This ability may only be used with a card of the same name once per turn. Cool. So restanding is cool, but you don't get another thing. Uh, but it is when placed, so gets front row 10k. So multi attacking is pretty cool. Yeah. Full Bronto, pretty uh, pretty good card right there. Shiny too. All right, put that aside. Next pack. Oop. All right, so we got common, 
common, common, draw reprint, front reprint, a uh, gold powder and rare that's like okay, and cool. We got the uh, the uh, crit retrain, the sentinel one for Narukami. So this is the Narukami pack already from the get go. So that's cool. And put that over there. Move on to the next pack. So what we got next? We got a common, another coel, yoink. Uh, what is this? The new starter, the egg one, that's all right. Jerry is a draw trigger now, rare, and uh, this is a pretty okay card. You can see this maybe being useful in the future, it's a gold powder and rare. And put it in the side for now. All right, so nothing spectacular out of that pack. Move on to the next one. All right, gold powder in common. Uh, vanilla, common, reprint front trigger, new heal, a rare, Percival! There he is! Got Bluish Flame Liberator Percival V-Series. So, top of my head, if I can remember how to read this thing correctly, it's, uh, when he's on van, continuous, all your units on extra rear guard circles get 5k, and then van and rear, when placed, um, Camelos 1, discard a card, get an imaginary gift excel, and then search your deck or drop zone for um, Aglavail, or Oath Liberator Aglavail, and call it. Yeah, too much it. But it works on rear, too, and the fact that you get more excel markers, it's pretty cool. So, I like Percival, even though it's double our skills, whatever, but it's still better than the original Legion skill. So... 100% upgrade going on right here, so love it. All right, cool. Already happy with this set. The fact that I got the gold paladin die was enough already. All right, next up. Common, uh, common, common. I see something shiny back there. Our uh, Jerry reprint. Ooh, martial arts dragon. I'm just gonna read this real quick, actually. Uh, when plays, Cam plus one, Soul plus one, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and bind it. Okay. And Van or Rear, when your other unit's attack did not hit, this unit gets 5k. Very interesting. I kind of like what's going on here, but it's like, whatever. And, ooh, okay, so we got, uh, Black Call Nakir, so it's the, uh, Angel Feather retrain for the Great Three Searcher, uh, Stride Fire thing. Let's see, I think it's during your turn, if a card is put into your damage zone during this turn, it gets 5k. And the other skill is when it's placed from hand. Uh, you just look at top 5 for a grade 3. If you got one, add to hand. And then if you added a grade 3 to hand, you discard a card. Cool. All right, moving on. Next pack, so we got another of this dude, the gold pound in common. More commons, commons, commons. Uh, ooh, I like this art a lot. It's pretty cool. Rare, and another martial arts dragon. So, pretty dead set there. But, that's pretty common for these packs at this point. Alright, next up. Going through these one at a time. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a reprint. Uh, that's new. Witch. Uh, draw trigger. This thing is okay. Like, whatever about it. Maybe in, like, a future deck this would be good. Um, but, uh, place my card ability, this card, two cards, get 20k to crit. It's whatever, honestly. And, I don't know, this thing. Chain Bolt Dragoon. I remember this card when it was in, uh, G. I feel like the art didn't really change that much. I don't know why. What does this thing do again? Uh, one place, look at seven cards for a Vanquisher, so it's one place on Van, and when bound from your hand during your turn, you call a Surreer. So that's really good for the OG Vanquisher, because I know you buy, you have to discard a card or bind cards from your hand. So, I think that's what it does, maybe it discards, but I feel like that's pretty good. Alright, next pack. So we got, got... Fibro Slasher Dragon. I don't even know what that means. All right. Commons, Commons. This is a vanilla Genesis heal. The Narukami crit that everyone runs. And just some two rares. Cool. All right. 
That was the first half of the stack, so that was the first eight packs. Now we're moving on to the next eight. So we got common, 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 uh, reprint. That's new, I think. Yep, new Angel Feather crit. Uh, and some rares. Oh, cool. Double R. We got the Grade 3 Love Sniper No Seal. So, Love Sniper No Seal, if I'm going to read it real quick. So it's uh, Van, once per turn, put the top card of your deck in your damage zone, return a card from your damage zone to your hand. Auto, at the at the end of the battle it attacks, so bless one, discard two cards from your hand, right up to one no seal from your hand to stand. Gets drive minus one, end of that turn, this ability can only be one. So more multi-attacking, so that's cool. Uh, don't really know how the Gavriel, I mean, I'm sorry, the no seal variant is uh, performing in standard, but I'm sure it would be fun to play around with. So no seal players, you get uh, you get your ace back. <laughs> Put all the rest of the commons over there. Next pack. Oh, speaking of no seal, we got the uh, a no seal, but it's not a forerunner. So it's a uh, happy people no seal. During your turn, if you have Vanguard no seal, all of your front row units get 5k. It's pretty interesting for a grade zero to be running, but it's a tech. Uh, common, common, crit draw a rare ooh that is shiny it's um glenfear glen glip 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 near it's the uh the fenrir card the the triple the triple r grade two so i'm gonna try and read this uh one place count bless one soul bless one choose a card from your soul and Return it. That's the word. Return it to your hand. I'm trying to read it upside down. Um, the other skill is uh, when it attacks, you soul bless one and it gets 10k. So I am not exa exactly sure at all how Fenrir plays right now at all. So I would assume if it played like anything original Fenrir was, it was like soul blasting and calling things from the soul. So this being able to activate and proc soul blast to call things out or get more abilities that way seems pretty cool. So Glavenir, I feel like, is probably a staple in the Fenrir build. Next uh oh, cool, an Astral Plane reprint. I didn't even know this was in here, but I'm assuming that was probably needed, maybe, but Astral Plane reprint. Uh, Gold Paladin Common, that's okay. Uh, more Vanillas. Uh, more Vanillas. Draw Trigger. A card that's really good. <laughs> a rare, uh, it's just when it's soul blast you can counter charge or you can kind of blast a soul charge if you know you place by card ability. And uh, oh it's the uh, Hate Heti, I think it was his name. Remember this card from the Fenrir build till. What do you do? Uh, during your turn if you soul blast for the cost of your card's ability it gets 5k and then when place you soul charge too. That seems pretty good. I think people are gonna run this so Put that over in the uh, not so great pile. Move on to the next card. So we have more Eradicator support. So we got a little common Eradicator there. Common, more commons. Triggers, triggers. Oh, it's the uh, the order card. So what does this order do? It is put a normal unit from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck, and if you put a grade three or greater, you draw a card. So not sure what this would be good for. A deck that runs a lot of grade threes, but this is also a grade three, so that would count towards that. A lot of searching and filtering. There's going to be a use for this one day. I can feel it, but I feel like not now. Just the fact that it can recycle itself, procs off of threes, being that you recycle something and then you draw. We will see. Oh, cool, we got the uh, Angel Feather Sentinel. That's dope, so it's the retrain for the um, the original Heartthumb clone for Angel Feather for Gavriel, so that's cool. Sentinel, 30,000 shield. Don't really know if people are gonna be running this, but I feel like Gavriel can really take advantage of being super crit aggro, so maybe people would run this. So yeah, put that off to the side. So, so far it looks like the only VR we've managed to open has just been full Bronto, but we will keep going. 
uh, we, after including this, there's three packs. So we got two more after this. Astral Plane reprint, vanilla, a good artwork, a good artwork. No seal grade two. Um, I'm gonna read this real quick. So, when plays from hand, come plus one, soul plus one, search your deck for up to one card with no sand same, put in your damage zone. If you put a card in your damage zone, return a face down card from your damage zone to your hand. That seems pretty good, because whatever card you want, you're gonna pay with the counter last, so that seems good. And then, oh, there it is. <laughs> Holy Seraph, no seal. Uh, let's go ahead and read what this thing does. So it is, when placed, search your deck for up to one card with no seal on its name, put in your damage zone, shuffle your deck, if you put a card, uh, at the end of the turn, put a card from your damage zone on the bottom of your deck. Okay. When it attacks, if you have three or more face-up cards and no seal on your damage zone, stand one of your rear guards, and if you have five or more face-up cards and no seal in your damage zone, stand two instead of one. So, very, very gimmicky, my opinion. I can see why people are really not running this variant, but it seems funny, especially if you're going to get the... Uh, Riding on top of a love machine gun or um, love sniper no seal And you get to stand two more things so the multi-attacking in a protect clan seems pretty good. So yeah, that was a that was a triple R too So I think we've gone through our three triple R's I believe Yes, and then our one VR so pretty much the box seems like it's pretty much dead at this point But we will see what else we get so common uh this is a new starter? Yeah, it's a new Genesis starter. Uh, no seal, heal trigger, crit, a rare. Oh, cool, another, so our next double R. So it's the uh, Fenrir Retrain Sentinel. So we got our uh, crit Sentinel for Genesis there. And last pack, Let's see. Got a common, ca uh, vanilla, Common, uh, an okay card, reprint, rare, and rare, yeah. So, box is a little underwhelming in terms of card pullage, but in terms of plussing, in terms of like the fact that I got the gold paladin die, worth. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's go over real quick all the, the major pulls. This pretty much is it. Cool. So let me get a little organized here. Full brown toe is our VR, so our main important pull there. Uh, the triple R's. We got Glefnir, uh, Nakir, and we got the uh, Eradicator card. So I. I don't know, the fact that this thing is an Eradicator specific and it helps move things, uh, and it lets you draw a card and bind stuff. It's an Eradicator which helps, but I feel like it's not, it wasn't really a necessity for it to be an Eradicator. But hey, you no know, cool. <laughs> I feel like it's still good, but I don't know. I don't play Narukami, so. And then for double R's. Oh, I'm sorry, actually we had one more triple R that I completely forgot about. We had uh, Holy Seraph No Seal. So we got three triple R's in this set. And now we're gonna move on to the double R's. So for, we got three Sentinels. So we got Narukami, Genesis, and Angel Feather. And then lastly for our double R's, we just got um, Love Sniper, uh, Chain Bolt Dragoon, and the most important card in the whole box, Percival. So, Get all this garbage out of the way. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the unboxing today. Um, appreciate the recent support you guys have been giving back. It's always nice. It's been really fun to open these boxes up. And thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG for providing these boxes. It's always, it's been fun. I am definitely looking forward to this set because I've chosen to rebuild the Gurgit Percival Hybrid. Kind of sad didn't pull Gurgit, but it don't matter. I'm gonna get those Gurgits anyways. But I am excited to see Percival and Gurgit in the same deck. Never really thought that would ever really happen, but it be happening, so I'm, I'm gonna build the deck just for the fact that I own the deck 
that I never really thought would really be existing right now. So yeah, so stay tuned for a Gurgit deck profile for Standard. And just for fun, I might end up making a premium Bluish Flame deck just for fun, because I can. And I feel like Percival still has like some pretty okay synergy in premium. Not nowhere in meta, but it's a playable deck for fun. So yeah, might do that too. Thanks again, you guys, for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.